Hi, I'm John Ballou. Today in the edit room, we're going to look at skin smoothing and skin tone correction. Um, so first, you may not know about the color correction here. If you don't, I'm going to show you a couple things. So I'm going to um, apply it to the clip here. And the fastest way to do that really is to hit Command-6, and it opens up the color board. Under color here, I'll take the highlights and pull the highlights down. And uh, actually, if I select a little puck here, I can hit delete to reset it. Uh, what I want to do is show you the scopes here. So I'll open up the uh, scopes and I have it set to parade. And I'm looking at the waveform under RGB parade. I have a blue cast. So I'm going to take the highlights down and just balance out those colors. And you know, that's pretty much all I have to do. However, sometimes I only want to affect her skin. So let me hit Command-7 to close the scopes again. Um, so I'm going to go back out of the color correction here, and I'm going to add a color mask. So when I click on this little uh, mask button here, I can choose a color mask or a shape mask. So when I choose color mask, I can click and drag on her skin tone. And the more I drag, the more it takes that range of color that I selected. You want to be careful not to select too much because then it selects you know, the entire image. But I can also hold the shift key to select more of her skin range. As well as affect the softness here. If I drag the softness up, I'm selecting more of that range of the pixels I selected. So now when I go to the color board, and I'm inside the color board, I can affect just her skin tone. But as you can see, a lot of what's selected outside is also being changed. So if I go back into the color correction and I can add a shape mask, this time the shape mask is um, intersecting with my color mask. So I can rearrange my shape mask to fit, et cetera, et cetera. That's such a lovely shade of green for uh, Megan. There we go. Now she looks more like the Wicked Witch of the West. And if you want to animate this, um, basically under the shape mask here, you can add a keyframe. And I added a keyframe at my playhead. So later on, if I move the playhead, and I want the keyframe to move maybe across the screen, based on where my playhead has moved to, all I have to do is make the adjustment. And the keyframe has automatically been added. So now you can see the shape mask is moving. So I can keyframe that and add as many keyframes as I like. So with that, I want to show you something a little different. I'm going to go ahead and delete this color correction here. And I'm going to copy the clip and use the up arrow to jump my playhead to the beginning of the clip because I'm going to paste the clip as a connected uh, edit using option V. So I, know, I now know I have frame by frame accuracy for both clips. And the bottom clip, I'm going to hit the letter V just to disable, and we're only going to work with the top clip. So I'm going to use the uh, color here. And I'll just throw that on. Usually this is meant for green screen. So the strength is automatically looking for a green color. I'm going to bring that strength all the way down. And then I'll just select her skin tone again. And I can have you know multiple variations of it. I'm just going to do a quick, you know, selection here. I don't have, I'm not going to be, you know, really perfect with this. I'm just selecting a few points here. Okay, and then I'm going to invert it. So now I'm only selecting her skin tone. Now her hair did get selected, so I got to be careful with that. But that should be fine for now. Um, so I'll turn the bottom layer back on. And then the top layer, I'll do Command-6 to apply the color correction. And under color, I'll drag that down. Now I'm only affecting what has been selected. And this will automatically uh, move with her because it's based on a color, not on my keyframes for moving the mask around. Okay, so that's kind of cool. And then I thought, well, maybe I can smooth out her skin tone a little bit by adding a blur. So I'll add a Gaussian blur to it, and I'll just close down, you know, 
take the amount of the blur down. And so you can see, you know, drastic change. So now I'm able to smooth out her skin just a little bit. And of course, I wouldn't have it that red, but I just want to point out that is a pretty cool little effect. And then I might select both of them and do Option G to create a compound clip. And now the entire clip, I can also do Command 6 to make further adjustments on a global scale. Maybe I want to change the exposure, you know, just a little bit to fit my tastes. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to learn more, visit johnblue.com where I have an entire hour workshop on color correction using just Final Cut Pro. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time in the edit room.